a.m., the FBI's armed agents showed up at the Uhuru House in St. Petersburg, Florida, at the home of Chairman Omalia Shatella and Deputy Chair Ona Zanea Shatella, at the home of Director Akile Anai, at the Uhuru Solidarity Center in St. Louis, at the home of Penny Hess and Kitty Riley, and at the home of myself and Amanda Carlozzi. The reason given by the federal government for their raids, which included flashbang grenades, assault rifles, drones, battering rams, handcuffs, and more, was that they were authorized by the courts, they said, to look for evidence that, among other things, those elections in St. Pete in 2017 and 2019 were orchestrated by a Russian mastermind located in Moscow. This is not only a lie, it is an insult to the true mastermind behind the St. Pete electoral campaigns in 2017 and 2019, whose name is not Russian, his name is Chairman Omali Yeshatella. And it is an insult to every person who was moved to support these campaigns because they want to live in a city without this brutal divide between white people and African people, where we can look at each other in the eyes as human beings and not as gentrifiers and gentrified. And it is an absurd and preposterous lie that the Uhuru campaigns were funded by Russia to undermine some so-called US democracy, a lie that functions to obscure the true scandal, the true election interference scam and malign influence scheme that took place in St. Petersburg during the elections of 2017. That was the fact that unlike our campaign, which raised a total of $15,000 in small donations from regular people, the campaigns of Rick Kreisman and Rick Baker, our opponents, took in millions of dollars from corporate backers and big real estate developers from New York, Miami, and other places, along with huge donations from shady super PACs and other mysterious sources. When is the FBI gonna show up to the house of Rick Kreisman or the house of Rick Baker with flashbang grenades and handcuff them? If the charge is election interference and undermining democracy, when is the FBI going to show up at Ron DeSantis's house and handcuff him for attacking the voting rights of African people in Florida, where footage has come to light in the past few weeks showing the police in Tampa arresting and throwing up against the side of their police cars African women and men who were trying to vote in the presidential election that year? As Chairman Omalia Shatella has pointed out, the real election interference is in the form of 440 bills that have in, been introduced into legislature throughout this country, restricting voting access for African voters. The only thing the St. Pete 2017 election Russia hoax is designed to, the other thing it is designed to obscure is that what was really behind the Uhuru campaigns in St. Pete in 2017 and 2019, what is really behind the Uhuru movement as a whole and the struggle of African people for liberation isn't Russia, it's Tyrone Lewis, it's Markel McCullough, it's Javon Dawson, it's the three African girls drowned and murdered by the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department, the memory of those Africans killed and their families and their struggle for justice and reparations. It is 